हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग एब्सोल्यूटली वेल सो वाइज इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम वर्बल एबिलिटी क्वेश्चन विच आर विच आर प्रीवियसली आज इन टी सी एस एन टू टी सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द कम्प्लीट डिटेल्स ऑफ ईच क्वेश्चन लाइक हाउ इट इज सॉल्व एंड वॉट काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर जनरली बींग आज इन टी सी एस एन क्यू टी सो दीज क्वेश्चन आर वेरी कॉमन टू ऑल द टी सी एस एग्जाम वेदर इट इज टी सी एस एन क्यू टी टी सी एस बी पी एस और टी सी एस स्मार्ट हायरिंग एग्जाम सो इफ यू आर गोइंग टू अटैम्प्ट एनी एग्जाम और ऑनलाइन टेस्ट ऑफ टी सी एस इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द वीडियो इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू द चैनल मेक श्योर टू सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल एज आ रेगुलरली अपलोड ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव्स एज वेल एज प्लेसमेंट प्रिपरेशन रिलेटेड वीडियोज ऑन माई चैनल ऑल्सो आई हैव क्रिएटेड अ प्ले लिस्ट रिलेटेड टू टी सी एस एन क्यू टी सो इफ यू हैव नॉट चेक दैट मेक श्योर टू चेक एज देर आर अ लॉट ऑफ वीडियो फॉर प्रिपरेशन फॉर टी सी एस एन क्यू टी ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव नॉट येट फॉलोड मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम मेक श्योर टू डू सो एज आ रेगुलरली अपलोड ऑफ कैंपस ड्राइव्स ऑन इंस्टाग्राम एज वेल सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन he does not fight because he is a coward person so the options that we have are he does not fight because he is a coward person or no error basically we have to find out uh, in which part the error is there right so first of all uh, let's i would suggest you to pause the video and take some time and try to solve it on your own and if you are not able to solve it then you can see the solution of the video so the part where the error is he is a coward person so the error is in option c that is he is a coward person he does not fight fight because he is a coward person so the error is option number c so the correct uh, why there is an error because cowardly is an adjective so it should be cowardly moving on to the next question he is anxious not only to acquire knowledge but also eager to display it again we have four options with us he is anxious not only to acquire knowledge but also eager to display it and fourth option is no error so let's again read the statement first he is anxious not only to acquire knowledge but also eager to display it so there is no error in, as such in this statement so the correct answer for this is option number d moving ahead to the next question dash the new safari storm Mahindra has more leverage in increasing the sales. So this is a fill in the blanks kind of question. So what you need to do is you have to fill in the blanks. Uh, four options will be given. So these kinds of questions are very much common in uh, verbal ability. So basically in TCS verbal ability you will have twenty four questions, and these uh, the level of questions are easy only if you have practiced a little. It will be easier for you to solve. And now uh, for these twenty four questions you will get thirty minutes to solve. So if you have practiced. nicely then it will be very easier for you to solve it so now let's get back to the question and see so the four options that we have are on in with at now pause the video and try to think of the solution so now let's try to fit all the uh, options in our fill in the blanks first of all on the new safari storm mahindra has more leverage in increasing the sales so on is definitely a not a good choice here that's uh, next is in the new safari storm mahindra has more leverage in increasing the sales so we are not talking in so let's move ahead for the next option with with the new safari storm mahindra has more leverage in increasing the sales so yes with is the right preposition here as it shows possession right so the correct answer for this question is with now why we have taken with because it is showing possession so uh, with this showing that in the new safari storm mahindra has more leverage in increasing the sales so with will always be used for possession and also when you will try to keep all the uh, options with will suit much preferably than other options moving ahead to the next question the passenger car sales showed a decline dash 7 to 5.6% the options that we have are of to from and for so the correct answer for this is the passenger car sales down a decline so the correct is from 7% to 5.6% okay so the correct answer is from because we are showing that there is a range okay from 7.2 so the correct answer is option number c 
मूविंग अहेड टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द विविड फोटोज ऑफ मेजेस्टिक एनिमल्स एंड कलरफुल बर्ड्स फ्रॉम द वाइल्ड लाइफ पार्क इज अ ग्राफिक डिपिक्शन ऑफ वॉट वॉट इज ब्यूटिफुल इन द कॉन्टिनेंट ऑफ एफ्रीका सो द ऑप्शन आर इज अ ग्राफिक डिपिक्शन ऑफ वॉट इज ब्यूटिफुल इन सो बेसिकली यू हैव वी हैव टू वी वी हैव टू मेक दिस सेंटेंस ग्रामेटिकली करेक्ट so the options are there whether there is no improvement if if there is no improvement needed we have to select option d otherwise let's see all of these three is a graphic depiction of what beautiful in our graphic depiction of what is beautiful in is a beautiful and graphic depiction of the vivid photos and majestic animals and colorful birds from the wildlife park is a graphic depiction so first difference that we can see is uh, our graphic depiction is graphic depiction right now colorful birds and animals so these are many right so the here the subject that is given to us is photos which is plural right that is why we what we are going to do is so because of this photos we are going to take the statement b which is r right here it will be r so r a graphic depiction of what is beautiful in so the correct option is answer number b moving ahead to the next question so again these types of questions are very common wherein you will be given uh, like multiple fill in the blanks and you have to fill in the correct answers so let's read the passage once and then let's uh, find the solution for it once upon a time there dash a man called peter a friend of his eventually became the ruler of a small city peter thought how lucky my friend is he is now a ruler he must be having a great time he must have fine clothes lots of money and a number of servants i wish i had this luck he dash to visit his friend to enjoy his hospitality when he dashed the palace the king himself received him with respect and affection peter then told the king that he was overwhelmed to see him the king smiled he invited his friend to have dinner with him now so you can see that this is a story basically and in the, at the starting only it is given that once upon a time so it which means that everything has happened in the past right so we have to select the options like in the past tense so let's try to fit in the fill in the blanks once upon a time there live okay so we have the hint as live now we have to fill, fill the correct answer so we can fill as lived why because we have already seen that this is a story which has happened in the past so lived is coming in the option number c and living is nothing live then living living will not never fit here they are living a man called peter so we will the correct option will be lived only but let's try to fill the other options too he must have fine clothes lots of money and a number of servants i wish i had this luck he decided to visit his friend to enjoy his hospitality so decided when he dashed the palace the king himself received him with with respect and affection when he reached so as already said everything is in the past tense so this option is the correct one that is option number c moving ahead to the next question identify the word with the correct spelling so we have the word as prudent now which what is the correct spelling of prudent first of all let me tell you what is meant by prudent so careful to be careful and avoiding risk is the meaning of prudent so okay so now you must have uh, no idea of what is prudent so let me give you an example also by using this word in a sentence it's always prudent to read a legal paper carefully to read a le uh, legal paper carefully before signing it okay so i hope you now have got the meaning of prudent it's always prudent to read a legal paper carefully before signing it now if you have already know the word before then you might have guessed the correct spelling but if you have not don't worry i'll tell you the correct spelling so the correct spelling is p r u d e n t so the correct option is option number a so the other spellings are wrong especially 
uh, some students might get confused with P-R-U-D-E-N-T but you have to keep in mind that the correct spelling is P-R-U-D-E-N-T okay and the meaning is careful and avoiding risk moving on to the next question identify the word with the correct spelling again we have meticulous as our next word so let me first of all tell you the correct meaning of this word so giving or showing giving or showing careful attention to every detail so this is the meaning of meticulous this uh, so now let me give you an example sentence this is a detailed and meticulous study which was done by scientists so you can see that what is the exact meaning of this word that is meticulous so meticulous means giving or showing careful attention to every detail so this is a detailed and meticulous study which was done by scientists now the correct spelling for meticulous is m e t i c u l o u s so let's read the options first of all so it has two t's m e t i c u e no again the wrong options m e t i c u l o u s yes this is the correct one the last one contains r in it so this is also wrong so the correct answer is option number C. So you can see that these kinds of questions are very common. So all this comes with practice only. So if you have done uh, enough practice questions that then you can solve this in the exam also. Moving ahead to the next question. Pick out the most effective word from the given words to fill in the blank to make the sentence meaningful. The question is Cinderella sings very well and does does the Peter. The options that we have are even to also so so the this question is a fill in the blanks kind of question now i am not going to tell you the answer for this question because this is the last question for today i want all of you to answer this in the comment section even if you already know that uh, what is the answer or even if you already have checked the answer still you have to give the answer in the comment section so i hope you will answer in the comment section moving ahead to the end of the video if you have any doubts let me know in the comment section make sure to join us on different social media platforms like telegram and instagram make sure to subscribe to the channel to receive all the latest regular updates from our channel thanks for watching the video